Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this target logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. And if you want to learn more about logo animation from basic to advanced, then don't forget to check out my Udemy course on logo animation. Link is available in the description. And if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So first of all here we are in adobe photoshop now i have this target logo over here you can easily get this logo from google now as always i have divided this logo into separate parts like each and every stuff is properly on the separated layer so i'll save this file then i'll go to the adobe uh, after effects and i'll create a new composition then i'm going to name it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration is 30 second and background color is white color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title safe action then i'm going to press ctrl i and i'll select my psd file import as footage composition written layers and sizes and simply hit import and simply hit ok then double click to open this so we will get this entire stuff select all of this photoshop layers hit ctrl c to copy go to the main animation and hit ctrl v okay so this is going to be my logo now right click new and create one null object we will select all of them and we will make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s and scale it like this and uh, let's move this stuff over here okay and we will select all of these layers and first of all delete this null object now select all of these layers and hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's bring all of them at the top and by holding shift i'll move all of them over here like this okay and i'll select those layers i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as reference and hit ok and uh, we will lock this layer or you can select this press t for opacity and decrease the opacity because this is going to be my reference layer so i'll lock this because i don't want to move that then after that uh, we ha have to uh, select these two stuffs and we will bring them at the top over here and let's lock this i mean we will hide this and then after that uh, we will do another thing uh, let's select our let's say ellipse tool maybe and this time i'm going to pick up the stroke and for the stroke color uh, we will let's enable this thing and with the help of this picker i'm going to select this color over here and simply hit ok like this okay and then uh, we are going to create one ellipse so let's create one ellipse over here press ctrl alt home and let's try to move this ellipse over here let's press s and adjust the size of it okay so this is similar so now we will hide this now let's select this and let's try to move this over here okay First of all, uh, make sure that uh, our scale is 90 right now. Whatever you have decided the scale, just keep in mind that scale uh, like my scale is 90. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to increase the size of this ellipse. Uh, okay. And I'll also decrease the stroke width a little bit somewhere around like this. Then what I'm going to do, I'll go to the add menu. I'll choose trim path. I'll go to the trim path and I'll make this end value up to 75 and start value 25 so we will get this bowl like structure and we will try to move this over here okay like this then after that uh, we will select all of this alphabets i'll press p select this position by holding shift i'm going to select all of their respective position right click and choose separate dimensions now uh, let's uh, lock this two layers i mean three layers now select this alphabet hit w for rotation tool we will rotate it like this and we will try to adjust there randomly on this bowl like this okay
then I'll move this over here like this okay so this is this a should be first so or uh, you can adjust the position random wise uh, like uh, if you want then you can adjust this t over here then this a over here then let's this g over here this t should be over here and this e should be over here let's try to adjust the shape okay so we will get something like this you can uh, adjust the respective positions like this okay so after that right click and uh, we will create one null object and we will move this null object over here now this is going to act like a handle so i'll select this i'll hit enter and i'll call it as handle now uh, we will disable uh, I, I mean uh, i'm going to delete that uh, i mean not delete but unlock this layer i'll select this shape layer i'll make it apparent with this handle then select all the alphabetical layers and make it apparent with this handle okay like this now select all of these uh, letters press p for position create one keyframe then y for y position i think uh, we don't need x position keyframe right now so uh, i'll create y position keyframes only then go to around one second create one keyframe then go some 10 to few, few frame forward create another y position keyframe and uh, in middle of that i'll bring them upward then go to the start and uh, we will bring this value over here okay now select those keyframes and we will hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift we will move this handle over here select this and we will move this handle over here so uh, we will get this kind of falling animation again zoom in select this move one handle over here select this move one handle over here select this move this handle over here select this and let's move this handle over here so if you see we will get something like this if you want then you can move this a little bit over here okay so we will get this kind of falling animation now uh, but uh, i don't want them to fall uh, all at once so i want them to fall one by one so i'll hit page down button two times and i'll move this layer over here and we will adjust them one by one So what will happen we will get this kind of falling animations for them then at this point uh, which means somewhere around at this point the last keyframe of this key i'll uh, hit u to minimize all of them i'll select this handle i'll press r for rotation let's create one keyframe then go few frames backwards uh, i mean forward and let's move this thief over here like this then go somewhere around over here let's rotate it like this okay like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 so if you see we will get something like this now we will go to the graph editor zoom in let's select this uh, now uh, select this by holding shift i'll move this handle over sorry select this by holding shift move one handle over here so we'll get something like this then select this move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here okay so if you see we will get first this and then we will get this okay now at this layer over here i am going to select all of this alphabets and i'll press ctrl shift d to split those layers and let's bring them over here and we will delete the parenting for these layers we will hit u and we will also delete the y position keyframes for them over here and we will hit delete then we will press p so we will get both the keyframe for x and 
y so create one keyframe at x one keyframe at y then press r for rotation create one keyframe and hit u so we can see all the keyframes so for this layers as we can see uh, we have three keyframes one for x one for y and one for uh, rotation so we will go few frame forward and now basically what we need to do we have to select these alphabets and we have to move this over here like this and then hit w and we will rotate it like this okay let's make this zero and we will move this over here then we will select this e we will move this uh, over here let's make this rotation zero and we will try to adjust it then we will select this g let's make this rotation zero and we will move this over here actually we did one mistake over here at this uh, top t of this this is not at the start but uh, at the last so i'll add this it over here then select this again let's make this zero rotation and try to adjust it over here then select this a try to adjust it over here then select this t let's make this zero and try to adjust this over here so if you see we will get something like this then uh, we will go and select all of these layers and uh, we will move one rotation for each and every one of them as you guys can see we have one complete rotation so if you see we will get this kind of rotation now in middle of that uh, it should not directly come like this but it should go upward so in middle of that i'll move this y position keyframes over here then go few frame forward which is over here let's go somewhere around over here we will create one keyframe at y position and in middle of that we will move this y position of this over here okay now in search option we will type y only so we can see only y position keyframes and so let's select all of those keyframes and we will hit f9 to easy ease those keyframes go to the graph editor zoom in over here and select those keyframes uh, let's move this handle over here select this and let's move this handle over here select this let's move this handle over here like this okay and zoom in let's select this and we will move this handle over here and select this move one handle over here and move one handle over here select this shift this handle select this and shift this handle like this okay now select all of those keyframes and by holding alt i select all of those keyframes and by holding alt i'll move this duration over here so it will go a little bit sorry uh, hit control z first of all we have to select u so we can see all the keyframes then we need to select all of these keyframes and by holding alt we can move the duration over here so it will go a little bit fast okay and select all of them and don't forget to enable the motion blur so we'll get this and then this then after that we have this in handle over here so at this point uh, it should be zero again like this now all of them are going uh, you know one at a time so we don't want that so what i'll do i'll select those keyframes and by holding alt i'll move the duration up to this i'll select this i'll move the duration up to this i'll select this i'll move the duration up to this by holding alt so we will do that for all of them like this so if you see now we will get something like this okay then i'm going to enable these two layers let's select them and uh, we will try to bring them over here only let's move them over here
and at this point i want the following animation of for this too so i'll press p let's create one keyframe go few frame forward create another keyframe go few frame forward again create one keyframe and in middle of that uh, let's bring them upward and go to the start let's move them over here select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor zoom in select this and try to adjust the graph like this again select this try to adjust the graph like this and this graph like this okay and now i'll select this ball and it should be over here and also enable the motion blur so our basic animation is ready so now i'm going to delete this reference layer we don't need that and hit u so uh, but if you see the this is completely uh, looks terrible if you see this in one angle so what we need to do over here first of all we will select all of them and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as logo animation and we will hit ok then we have to do some scaling animation for them so uh, press s for scaling on, uh, and let's increase the scale let's make this fit and we will try to move the position of this logo at the center over here and at this point it should be at the center so i'll select this i'll press p for position i'll create one keyframe and the uh, jumping animation is starting from here so at this point i'll create one keyframe and i'll move the position somewhere around over here and i'll select those keyframes and i'll hit f9 so i'll get something like this okay so if you see first we will get this then we will get this then right click new and create one null object and or uh, yeah select this logo animation make it apparent with this null one select this press s and over here i'm going to make this 90 or let's say 85 or let's say 88 maybe create one keyframe go to the start and let's make this 100 so along with this animation we will get a little bit of scaling animation also for our logo okay so this is how you can create this kind of simple logo reveal animation not only this but you can play around with this any kind of logo you want like this